Triple negative breast cancer, abbreviated TMBC, is a type of refractory breast cancer and for decades has completely relied on chemotherapy as a treatment. Recent improvements are swiftly changing the treatment choice whereby immunotherapy could be a viable strategy. However, identification of relevant biomarkers and development of more active immunotherapy combination regimens are currently high priorities in the field. In this context, lipocalin 2, a glycoprotein acting as a regulator of the alternative iron homeostasis pathway, could be a potential novel target. But why so? Well, immune cells called macrophages are responsible for highly regulated iron release and uptake in the tumor microenvironment. And cancer cells can hijack the iron release phenotype of macrophages for their own benefit. While lipocalin 2 was shown to deliver iron to the rapidly proliferating cells, hence the cancer cells. Furthermore, lipocalin 2 polarizes tumor associated macrophages to a protumoral phenotype. Moreover, high lipocalin 2 expression is recognized as an independent prognostic biomarker for reduced survival among patients with breast cancer, especially those suffering from the TMBC. Lipocalin 2 also actively promotes breast cancer metastasis by inducing vascular endothelial growth factor production, angiogenesis, epithelial to mesenchymal transition, cell migration, and cell invasion. So we need a tool to block lipocalin 2. Therefore, we have generated anti-lipocalin 2 nanobodies, which can be potentially used as a targeting tool in, or in order to modulate tumor microenvironment. But what are these nanobodies? Well, they are smaller version of antibodies, and antibodies are currently commonly used as an immunotherapeutic moiety. However, nanobodies, due to their size, stability, high binding affinity, and blocking efficiency, could serve as an improvement to antibodies. In this project, we will focus on investigating the lipocalin 2 in primary murine TMBC model called E0771 and its metastatic LMB version. Interestingly, in this project, we have shown that there is a significant decrease in TMBC tumor growth in the mice lacking expression of lipocalin 2, meaning that systemic lipocalin 2 could highly contribute to tumor development. Finally, anti-lipocalin 2 nanobodies will be assessed, validated and further characterized either as a monotherapy or in combination with other therapeutic modalities for the proposed model.